What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, so... I did videos on the whole Jussie Smollett situation. But in the back of my mind, I was thinking to myself, every time something like a Jussie Smollett situation happens, every time you have some, let me see, uh, like big entertainment news, you know, something about Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, or something to that effect. Something that might be trivial or might be considered trivial in the grand scheme of things. There's always something else looming in the background that we're not paying attention to. You look at what's happening while everybody is thinking about Jussie Smollett. New Cuban Missile Crisis. Bring it on, says Russia's Putin. Russian leader continues to issue warnings, saying he doesn't want a missile crisis but ready to act if provoked by U.S. Let's read here. Russia's military is ready for its own Cuban Missile Crisis. If the United States is foolish enough to want one and Moscow has the edge when it comes to nuclear, nuclear first attack, President Vladimir Putin said. Putin's comments made to Russian media late on Wednesday follow his warning that Moscow would match any U.S. move to deploy new missiles closer to Russia by targeting Western capitals with faster missiles of its own. The Cuban Missile Crisis erupted in 1962 when Moscow responded to a U.S. missile deployment in Turkey by sending ballistic missiles to Cuba, 150 kilometers from the U.S., sparking a standoff that brought the world to the brink of a nuclear war. Hmm. More than five decades on, tensions are rising against over, sorry, are rising again over Russian fears, the U.S. might deploy intermediate-range nuclear missiles in Europe as a landmark Cold War-era arms control treaty unravels. Things don't sound too good to me. Relations between Moscow and Washington were strained, Putin said, but tensions were not yet comparable to those of the Cuban Missile Crisis. They, the tensions, are not a reason to ratchet up confrontation to the levels of the Cuban Missile Crisis in the 1960s. In any case, that's not what we want, said Russia's president. But if someone wants that, well, okay, they are welcome. Putin said Russia can deploy hypersonic missiles on ships and submarines which could lurk outside U.S. territorial waters if Washington moved to deploy new nuclear weapons in Europe. We're talking about naval delivery vehicles, submarines or surface ships. <laughs> and we can put them, given the speed and range of our missiles, in neutral waters. Plus, they are not stationary. They move and they will find them, Putin said according to a Kremlin transcript. You work it out. Mach 9, the speed of the missiles, and over a thousand kilometers, that's their range. Okay, so Russia was accused of a treaty violation. And here it says that the U.S. State Department dismissed Putin's early earlier warning as propaganda, saying it was designed to divert attention from, the, from what Washington alleges was Moscow's violation of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces, INF Treaty. Okay. Okay. 
you guys can go look up this article and read it for yourselves but let me tell you something this is what i think this is what i think there's going to be a war every every sitting president had to face a war as far as i can remember and i do think there's going to be war it might be after the next election but there is going to be a war um nothing is new under the sun right and with the whole tension between the democrats and the republicans donald trump being accused of you know befriending russia you know all the talks that russia had their hands in the whole election cycle or the results of the elections something is looming and it doesn't look too good and i've said this before and many people have said it i just i don't understand why it is that america wants to dip their nose in everybody else's business america leaves clear from over the west and goes over there in the east and deploys soldiers all over i get it world domination but is it worth it is it really worth it because this is a thing i'm speaking to my fellow black people the enemies of the united states they don't care if you're black because as far as they know when they see soldiers in their countries they're seeing white men black men and hispanic men i'm not sure if you have asian guys in the army but you have a lot of hispanic guys a lot of black men be it black men from the caribbean or black americans i don't think you have a lot of caribbean black men in the army in the american army you might have a few i don't think it's a lot but you have some in there you have a lot of white guys so when these guys decide to go to war whenever with the US they're not just going at white folks because this is really white on white crime if you ask me but when they're going or possibly going at the US they're going to go at everybody you know i was never a fan of black people being a part of the army i mean i get it to an extent a lot of black folks they're looking for a way out they're just trying to pay their bills you know they're just trying to survive and joining the army was probably their last option but i've always thought that black people should stay out of white on white issues because all these world wars and stuff like that that's white people shit you know and i just think that black people will get caught up because a lot of black people are in the armies you know and they're fighting for the country they were born in even though that country rejects them but i just wish that the us at some point will leave people alone i really do wish that they would i don't see that happening ever but i i wish they would cuz i think i i don't think peace is impossible I really don't. But it might turn down a notch if we all mind our own businesses. You know what I mean? Let the leaders of that country over there take care of their business. Let the leaders over that country over that side handle their business. I don't think we 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 could all have fair trade. There doesn't have to be any cheating, you know, no bullying. That that really doesn't have to happen. but i do believe that there's going to be a showdown between the us and russia i believe it i don't know when but all this talk i don't think there's going to be another cold war at some point somebody's going to press that button and a missile is going to be flying we don't know where that missile will be heading but something is going to fly So I think we need to pay attention to what's going on. People prepare yourselves. 
you know, get your, I don't know, stock up on food, get your weapons, get your training. We don't know what's going to happen. Because we're being distracted by a whole bunch of other news. And a lot of people are not pay atten- paying attention to what's going on here. Because this guy, Putin, uh, he hardly smiles. He's always serious. You know, I think this guy is about war. I might be wrong. He could be a cool guy. But a guy who's always serious like that, he means business. But anyway, guys, I'm out. I'll see you guys some other time.